Hey guys, Kyle Garifo here, head coach at Strategic Real Estate Coach. Today we're in Algonquin, Illinois, and I wanna give you four tips and tricks to getting good deals on bank-owned properties. So let's talk a little bit about the numbers now. This is a 3,800 square foot house, four bedroom, two and a half baths, nice community, nice neighborhood. People really wanna live in here, backs to a wetland, just a fantastic place to live. We were able to pick up this house for $305,000 as a bank-owned property. We put about $23,000 into it, sold this thing for $392 for a quick $38,000 profit. So let's talk about the four tips that you can utilize to get good deals from bank-owned properties. First of all, it's having relationships with REO brokers. I was actually in Florida when I got a call from my broker on this property. So I'm a thousand miles away. She told me this is a great deal. It's gotta be in today. Put this offer in. Tip number two, have cash to buy these properties. I don't care whose cash it is, whether it's yours, you borrow money from us, borrow from whoever you can be, doesn't matter. If you can have cash to pay for these properties, you're gonna get good deals. I was able to beat out four other offers on this property, higher offers than mine, but were financed, but because I was paying cash and closing in eight days, I got this house over them. Tip number three is all about timing and when you buy this house. I bought this house and closed on December 28th of this past year. I was actually under contract for only about eight days, but I told the bank I'll close as soon as you want me to close. They said, great, let's close by the end of the year. If you can close by the end of the year, you can have this house. I said, great, we got it done. Tip number four is being able to highlight all the negative features. This house, like I said, only needed about $22,000 worth of work. But what we were able to do is basically show them that this needed more work than they originally thought. There was basically holes in the walls here, all these countertops that you see here are all brand new. These appliances were very dirty and disgusting. I paid 200 bucks to clean this house. It was a piece of cake. There was definitely holes here. I cleaned all this carpeting as well too. You don't have to replace carpeting, okay? This would be $8,000 of carpeting. I was able to spend about 400 bucks. It looks basically brand new. Our master bath here had a gigantic leak in this shower. They actually had body sprays everywhere. These body sprays eventually leaked down this wall. Underneath us here is actually our laundry room all the water leaked down there. So this wall basically had mold on it. It was corroded, it was gross, it was falling apart. Well, what I basically told the bank is, I don't know how much mold is there. I don't know how much corrosion is there in the pipes. I'm gonna have to rip out this entire shower, which is what I actually had to do. But this only cost me about 2,500 bucks to do in the end. It looks fantastic. I was able to, again, get it for a great price and sell it for a great price and make a great profit. Well, thanks guys for watching our video here in Algonquin, Illinois, about four tips and tricks on how to get good deals on bank-owned properties.